This film discusses how to work with differential pairs in the Proteus design suite. We start on the schematic by right clicking one of the diff pair wires and launching the configurator from the resulting context menu. On the resulting dialog form we start by either naming the diff pair or selecting an existing one if they are common. Then we specify the start and end components followed by the pins of the start component. If there is a direct connection, the end component field will automatically populate, and we are done. If not, we need to add pass-through components to complete the signal path. Full instructions to use the configuration tool are in a separate video or the detailed help files When we are finished, we can save and exit the configurator. We now need to set up a net class and design rules for the differential pair. This can be done either on the schematic or more commonly at the start of the layout development. From the net class tab, we create new class and specify track width for routing the pair. It can also be useful to change the rat nest color so that you can more easily identify them on the board. We then switch to the differential pair tab and associate the net class with our pair. In the case where you have multiple pairs, the same net class can be assigned to each one. There are some extra fields here for us to fill out. The phase shift field specifies the maximum allowable difference in the two track lengths before we add serpentines to equalize. The other three fields regulate the separation of the two tracks and how much that is allowed to change. More information on each option is provided in the help. The last place we need to do some setup work is in the design rule tabs. It's quite common to set up some clearances between the differential pair and everything else. We do this by applying the rule to the net class we've created with respect to all other net classes. Finally, we are ready to route the differential pair. In an easy case, we can simply select the diff pair routing mode and click on one of the pins. Proteus will automatically fan out from both pins and we can continue routing towards the destination. For curved routing, simply hold the control button down as you route the pair. We finish the diff pair by clicking on a destination pad. In the more normal cases, where fan outs and wires are involved, we need to manually route the entry and exit using normal track mode. Then we can switch to diff pair mode and pick up the route by clicking on one of the tracks or wires and routing as before. In extreme cases, we can also route entirely in manual mode, hugging the second route to the first to maintain the correct clearances. Regardless of how the diff pair is routed, Proteus will detect when it's completed and the length of the two tracks are equalised by the addition of small serpentine sections from the corners. Note that this phase matching or skew correction depends on the direction you have routed it. If you have routed from receiver to source, you need to reverse the route direction from the context menu, which will then trigger the correct phase matching. Finally, if you need to edit the diff pairs, remember that you should phase match again from the context menu when you are finished. Differential pairs can easily be matched to the target length. First, go to the length tuning dialog and set the style and size of any length matching serpentine segments. Then, from the design rule manager, set an appropriate length matching tolerance for the diff pair. Finally, use the input target length command on the context menu to lengthen the diff track pair to the target distance. You can also match lengths with another differential pair by selecting one track of each pair and then using the match length command. If needed, length match serpentine segments can be dragged along the differential pair into their ideal position. All differential pair are checked compliant in the pre-production checker 
and a differential pair report is available in Project Notes, which lists relevant tolerances and compliance status. You can also visualise the phase from a context menu command on the route. Green segments are in phase, yellow segments are skewed but still inside phase tolerance, and red segments are skewed beyond the phase tolerance. Corrective serpentines act to equalise the lengths again after we drift out of tolerance.